Satan came to Yeshua on the 41st day after his baptism and showed him all the kingdoms, the power, and the glory of this world and said, all this has been delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will, I give it. You bow down to me and this is all yours. Yeshua never challenges jurisdiction. Paul said that Satan is the God of this age because Adam was given that power and authority as the king of this earth. But by his act of rebellion and disobedience, he transferred that authority into the hands of Satan who is bounded up legally with seven seals. John begins to weep, cry like a baby. In front of the throne, there is a dirge that is struck in the court of heaven. Everyone is stunned. There is no way, there is no hope. It's over with. And then an angel steps forward and says, Look, look, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, who was dead, who lives forevermore, he alone has prevailed, he alone has authority to strip those seals. Yeshua takes that out and begins ripping the seals off and all hell breaks loose upon the earth because Satan's authority is being stripped from him and the last thing he is going to be stripped of his authority to stand before the throne and accuse their brethren. He has but a short time with three and a half years left And when he is kicked out, then he is going to empower the man of sin who sits in the temple of God, proclaiming to himself that he is God. That is what was referred to in the book of Daniel as the abomination of desolation. This is what Yeshua referred to in Matthew 24. When you see the abomination of desolation born by the prophet Daniel stand in the holy place, then you get out of Jerusalem immediately. That must go down first because he is currently holding fast to his authority until it is stripped from him and he is taken out of the midst. Then shall that wicked be revealed, apocalyptoed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. And because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved, God will send them a strong delusion. The word send is pempo, which means to send one home to where they're comfortable. You don't want the truth. You want to believe that, oh, we're just life is going to go on just merrily ever after, skipping, holding hands with butterflies and birds singing until the return. Well, that's not the way it is, people. Right now, there are hundreds of Christians who are being raped, tortured, butchered, crucified in Syria right now. They're driving around in Hummers, 2,500 of them that were left behind for them with millions of dollars of equipment that was immediately transferred into the hands of ISIS, which... These people are being beheaded right now. Okay, you wanna be out of here in the middle of a five-course Sunday brunch at the country club? I get it, I understand. But it's not going to happen. The Lord coming down, relieving the pain and strain and tribulation, it's not happening yet. There are people hanging on crosses right now. The testimonies of the Christian girls who are crying out for the United States to carpet bomb them, kill them, so that they are not raped 30 times before breakfast by lines of Muslim fundamentalist Quran-thumping evangelicals of their religion. Oh yeah, you, you're gonna get out of here. No. Until the man of sin is revealed, nobody is out of here. And anyone who tells you there's a pre-tribulation rapture is a liar. I was a liar for more than 20 years. I lied. And it's time you woke up. There is no pre-tribulation rapture. Thus saith Yehovah. And I will stand before him one day. Yeshua will leap forward and you'll say, and he'll say, you said, I said, what? And I said, Thus saith Yehovah, there is no pre-tribulation rapture. And he's gonna say, just checking one last time, good job. 
because I was a false prophet. I lied. I painted a pretty picture over the eyelids of my sleeping congregation. Wake up, people! The brimstone is about to hit the fan, and you need to understand that you ain't getting out of here. Thus saith Yehovah.